Also tonight, homeless, transgender, and living in Las Vegas. The I-Team's Vanessa Murphy found out about a place for this unique group to get the help they need and also to feel safe and why a shelter of its kind is so needed here. Denise, the numbers are alarming. One in five transgender people have been homeless at some point in their lives, making this a critical issue for this group, according to the National Center for Transgender Equality. In Southern Nevada, we have several shelters for the homeless, and we've learned about one place specifically specifically for transgender people in need called the safety dorm. Sometimes people give me the worst stares. This is the streets, you know, it's different in the streets. People start making judgments when they don't even know you. Homeless, alone, and transgender. You get bullying just by walking down the street. Milagros Marquez tries to get by day by day. A lot of transgendered women walk around with their guard up a hundred percent because you never know. On this corridor by Owens and Las Vegas Boulevard, there are several shelters. And some other homeless people are like, that's a man. Some dorms for men, others for women. Being transgendered does make you a target at times. And now the Salvation Army has a place for transgender people in need like Milagros. I feel lucky that this place is here because if not I would be stuck in a men's dorm with and Lord knows what could happen there. Thank you. You're welcome. According to the Salvation Army, this is the only shelter for transgender people here in downtown Las Vegas. Other men and women here have to pay $10 a night, but this safety dorm is free of charge because there's such a need to keep transgender men and women safe. And we witnessed why. During our interview with Milagros. Today I felt. Oh. Everything okay out there? We watched this hostile scene unfold after a staffer tells us he asked several other people in need here to watch their language. Moments before we entered the shelter, we heard several nasty comments about Milagros while she stood feet away, bullying to say the least. That's when I don't feel safe when I'm out there. But life before her transition was also a challenge. So when I look at that, I see a person that didn't know who they were. This was Milagros prior to taking hormones. Like somebody that were that was always questioning, who am I? She describes a girl trapped in a boy's body since the age of seven. And at 20 years old, she left Eric behind for Milagros. That was more than a year ago. What followed, she says, trouble at work and school in Utah. I wasn't allowed to use the girls' restroom. And I wasn't allowed to use the boys' restroom. And a rocky relationship with family. That's when I was like, okay, well, it hit me that I'm alone now. She says she moved to Las Vegas because she thought employers would be more accepting, but was let down. From what other people told me, the only type of job I would able, ever be able to get into is the sex industry, entertainment industry, or prostitution and escorting. With determination and prayer, she tells us she prevailed. Ta-da! I found a job as a dietary aid. Her work badge, just as she wants it. And I like the fact that it says Milagros and dietary. She keeps it in her backpack where she keeps her belongings. I swear I look like an old lady. But perhaps the most sentimental is her book of goals. Her first paycheck, done. An apartment, still on the list. And the ultimate, she says, is happiness. I don't know what it's like to be happy. I mean, I could smile. I could do that, but to come home and be like, I'm happy that I'm this, I'm like, I'm going to get there one day. Right now, the Salvation Army says on average, five transgender men and women stay at the safety dorm, and it's still a work in progress. Uh, one concern Milagros mentioned, sometimes staffers there don't know how to address her meaning as a man or a woman, and she wishes staffers would step in more when others are making nasty comments. But Denise, a spokeswoman for the Salvation Army, says they are working on that. They're uh, dedicated to training their employees. Wow, it just it, so many people like her fall through the cracks. Right. You know, it's good that they're recognizing that. Yeah. yeah thanks, thanks, Vanessa.